Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Capricorn. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Capricorn, I've done your reading with the Mystical Shaman blended with the Good Tarot in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. So Capricorn, you have really big energy at play in your reading today. I was just watching um, Untitled Tarot, Lauren B. She had a video out today about Libra season coming in and it's almost like I forgot it was moving into Libra season. There's such a strong message in your reading today about justice. And so I'm thinking it, it could be that because it feels, it feels to me like you're tipping into a phase where justice is coming into your life in a really strong way. So it could be that because of Libra season. So let me pull, um, let me pull you a dream decoder card to get like an overall energy for the message here for Capricorn. What's the overall energy for Capricorn in this situation that seems to be, it's almost like the tables are turning and things are suddenly really working out in your favor. That's the justice element. Interesting, we got two cards. Animals and aliens and robots. This is really fascinating because there's kind of, sorry, I'm just receiving. There's definitely a really strong message in your reading today about there being kind of this divide that is happening. And that seems to be what the justice is at play here. The justice that is happening is it's almost like you're being justified or being, um, I don't want to say like granted permission, but be like the way is being provided for you to part ways with something perhaps that is really not a good mix with you and your energy in your life. And it's interesting that these two cards are coming out, aliens, aliens and robots on one side and animals on the other side. So it's really fascinating the, the juxtaposition of these two energies. It kind of is, I mean, it has very little to do with the content of the cards. For me, it's kind of representing like mechanical and natural world, right? So that's a really fascinating distinction that's being made here in for you today because of the message that I'm seeing here about that things are being separated or that you maybe you're going through a separation and it's like when you were when this energy was combined together it was really um kind of an uphill battle for you what I'm seeing I'm be, I'm getting this kind of imagery from the hunger games and that I keep hearing that phrase, may the odds ever be in your favor, I think is it's something like that. But it's almost like the odds have always been stacked against you or is it, it's how it's felt to you until now. All of a sudden, it's like you're coming up to the peak of the mountain. I just I received this massive story on your behalf, Capricorn. It was like you were thrown into a situation or you found yourself in a situation that felt really unfair to you. But nonetheless, there you were having to deal with the cards that were dealt to you, in a sense, imposed upon you and just having to deal with it. And it's always been incredibly difficult until now. All of a sudden, it's like the energy is smoothed out. It's like it's been this this intense climb, but you've reached a peak where now everything is smoothing out. Everything finally is going in your favor. Justice is being served in a sense. And because of that, there's this separation in the energy that is happening, right? Do you see what I'm saying? There's this distinction is being made. It's almost like maybe that wasn't completely clear before that, that there was such a grand distinction between these two energies that are at play. I want to say maybe this is you and another person, or this is you in an environment that you've been in, but they don't blend well together, right? But it's like you were forced into this mechanical, robotic environment. Anyway, so let me just show you the cards, Capricorn. First of all, you have these three cards here. This is what I'm talking about, big energies, right? 
the Hierophant, the Council, and the Justice. And I just noticed as I was hitting record that there's two 11s here. So you've got 11, 11. So this is, this is what I mean about the energy is suddenly smoothing out. It's like you're suddenly on this clear path. All obstacles have been removed. But what I'm seeing here with this, with these, the combination of these three cards, it's almost like judge and jury, panel of judges, teachers and judges. It's like all of this really authoritative kind of institutional energy, really interesting because that actually could be representing this mechanical energy in a sense. No, I don't think it wants to go there. It doesn't want to go there. That's a separate energy. This is almost like, more like, like archangel energy stepping forward and recognizing you and your efforts. It's something like that. It's pretty much like you've been granted the reward or recognized or like the case has been decided in your favor. That's what these cards are talking to me about today. Because following this grand judgment, whatever this represents for you, is this vision quest card. And I'm seeing this as just you being in this celebratory. You've made it. You've made it through. It's complete, right? And an incredible relief because it's like right up until this moment, you were not sure. Like, the, like I said, the odds were against you. And so you always felt maybe like it was never going to work out, but then suddenly it does. Right. But what's really fascinating as well is that there's these energies that are really wanting to either contain you or intimidate you or impose upon you. And they're being represented by this Jaguar and the strength card today. But I'm focused on the lion. It's just these these animals. Interesting. It's so fascinating. Right. The mechanical and the animal. But here it's almost flipped. Right. This was almost wanting to be represented as the mechanical aspect. And this is the animal aspects so this is what i'm saying there's some kind of tables have been turned it's almost like there's been some sort of misconception or um what's the word i want to deception maybe like outright deception about who was playing which role you know you, you see what i'm saying with the there, there's two very distinct energies here they're being separated from each other but it's like almost at the very last minute there's been this swap in who's playing which which energy or who's who's really in which energy do you see what i mean because here look at here how the mechanical is the robotic is represented as really dark perhaps and the animal of course is nature organic if it's goodness utopia but here it's like the opposite the animals are being represented as these shadowy imposing boxing in energies and this more like institutional energy is this is the savior in a sense is the one that's that's almost kind of giving you is it giving you the boost to get over this ridge over the edge finally the tipping point it's really fascinating capricorn so I hope that that means something to somebody out there because to me it's it's really obscure. So basically it's just a swap in the energy where things are becoming really clear about who's actually playing which role. Maybe who is, I don't want to take it into like good and bad or anything like that, but there's just been some lack of clarity or truthfulness or transparency about the roles of each character in whatever this dynamic is. And as it's being revealed, it's simultaneously being separated. It's like this is the end of the road for the mixing of this energy, right? Because in the second row of cards, there's this the separation. In the middle of the of the row is the six of fire, which is success. This is you. This is you receiving your acknowledgement, receiving the um the news, whatever it is, that is like, it's finished, it's complete. It's all known now. It's all out in the open, right? This, this is, could be representing that, representing that as well as this, as this ship is being lifted up. You know, it's being made visible. And in this being made visible, there's the separation. You're on this side, the other is on this side. The energies are exceptionally different from each other. Yours is feeling... Well, very Capricorn, 
right? With the Queen of Earth beginning here, the Medicine Wheel and the Patience or Temperance card here. This is your gorgeous energy. And how it's how it's coming through actually, kind of playing against this first row of cards that has this, these, these guys here kind of, it's almost like they're trying to intimidate. They're trying to intimidate you out of whatever this is at the center. If they're not trying to intimidate you, it's like they're angered by the fact that you've won or you've received the reward, whatever it is. So here, you see that these energies are almost mirroring those two animals there. And it's kind of coming through as successfully blocking out the influence or the impact of these ones. If they're really trying to be intimidating or judgmental, or maybe even just envious, they have an energy that is wanting to impose upon you. You are really succeeding at, at blocking it out with this medicine wheel. It's this, this message, something about healing, of course, with, with the medicine wheel at the center, you're coming through as incredibly at peace whatever this decision is or reward is, is like it's bringing you incredible healing. And in that, it's like you're just focused on that. It's almost like you don't even have to make an effort to block out these negative influences. You're completely focused on, it's almost like you're receiving a healing. That's what this, this archangel energy is bringing in, in a sense. Like I said, the energy is smoothing out with the 1111. It's like you're on this glide path now, right? where everything is much easier. And that's this healing that you're receiving. It's almost like what you, what you get for reaching this place in the journey, you get a complete healing. It's something like that. So you're focused on that. The hummingbird is really stepping forward here. The hummingbird, the hummingbird is just up here, right? The hummingbird is um, symbolic of just lightness of being. To me, it's, well, it's this energy. It's just celebratory lightness of being. It's like the, whatever that was isn't impacting you anymore. It's like, you, it's like you, it's almost like you were bound in some kind of contract. You were thrown into the mix with this energy. Going back to the Hunger Games, again, it's like being thrown into this obstacle course and the players that are there with you are a real challenge for you essentially, right? So now it's like the game has ended. You've won the game. They The game is over so they have no more say or influence or need to stand next to you at all, right? It's like everyone's parting their ways and going, going their separate directions. So, and then their energy on this side is coming through as the ghost dance, the curse, and the five of water, right? So it's almost like What's really interesting, actually, because it's actually showing me somebody who's very wounded or traumatized, maybe by their past. It could be the reason why they're coming up as these kind of shadowy, intimidating characters is because of their traumatic past that they seem to be unable to shake. They're still very much in this energy. So it's like, well, it's interesting. It's almost like you're being put through exactly the same obstacle course in the center and you're going the path of healing and they're choosing, are they choosing it? Or are they, they're just unable to see another way perhaps, but they're continuing to stay in a different energy. They're, they're continuing to stay in the shadows. So, I mean, that could be, that could be all that we're talking about here, Capricorn, is that you've healed. You've moved into a path of healing. And so it's separating you from things that are unwell or things that cause you to be unwell. But it's like it's still wanting to, it's still around you. It's still wanting to, it's still wanting to impact you. I'm suddenly getting now this kind of vision of family dynamics where it's like you could be in a home or surrounded by a family that are maybe abusive or manipulative or just not supportive of you. 
and you're focusing on healing and it's like you've reached this critical tipping point in your healing where it's like now their influence, their energy, the impact of it is falling away, right? With the six of fire, it's fascinating because the first time I've ever seen that the six of fire has the, it has a lot of the energy of the six of air in this deck, has the same ship in it. And I never realized it before. Have I never seen those cards side by side? Is that possible? But it has this ship in the six of swords, the six of air, which is my card for timeline shift. Like the six of swords talks about moving away from something, right? So it's like, that's the key in this whole reading that you're moving away from this negative influence because you're, you've succeeded in healing yourself or maybe even just standing up for yourself, right? There's a lot of imagery and energy here of standing up for. If it's not you standing up for yourself, it's like there's suddenly a team of people or people with authority, judges and teachers that are standing behind you, standing up for you, saying that you were right in this situation, right? And so it's like that's, it's like it's changing the course of your life. It's this pivotal moment where because of this, it's like I said, you've reached this tipping point and everything is going to change now because of it. Because this energy is being separated. Like I said, it's almost like it was one energy all blended together before and now there's a very clear distinction and it's helping you and others, everyone involved, to perceive the differences in the energies, right? It's almost like you've been mixed up with the wrong crowd for a long time. And so you've always just been presumed to be part of that story or part of that energy. But now it's being made really clear that you and it do not, you know, you're not alike at all. So. Is that all that needs to be said here? There's something significant about this six of fire and the in the timeline shift. It feels, it feels at least for you, Capricorn, especially because you've got these eleven eleven, and this six of fire wants to come up with a double message of the six of air, which is the the multi dimensional timeline shift, and you focusing on all this healing. There's something significant about that because of this particular moment or achievement or acknowledgement, your life is taking a completely different trajectory than it was before. And it's almost like you didn't see it coming. Or even though you may have been striving towards it for a long time with this card, it's like you've been climbing this steep incline for a really long time, not knowing if there, if it's ever going to end. So it's like you've been in that mentality for so long that you haven't even allowed yourself to consider what might be over that obstacle, over the mountain, right? So it's like now you're you're gonna you're getting a view of that, of what's over the mountain. And it's like you have no idea because you've always been in this arena, in the Hunger Games arena. So now it's suddenly tipping into this collective, the collective, right? Moving into Libra season and seeing over the, over the horizon what's next. It's like beyond our radar. It's like uncharted territory is what I want to say. So Capricorn, I'm going to continue to pull cards, create and extend it. See what else we can find out. Maybe about what's over this horizon for you. Um, if you're interested in that, well, the link to the to the extended is in the description. And if not, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.